What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. My Hero Season 7, Episode 16. Shit, definitely hit the fan uh, last episode. Very curious to see how this group gets out of this. Um, I'm not sure, not sure who all is here. I mean, they could have anybody here with a decent kind of like AoE quirk. But um, just off the top of my head, we've got Endeavor here with one arm who is honestly at his... He's at his limit, if not already past it. You have a... I'm not even going to say less than 100% Hawks, because I feel like that's giving it too much credit. What do we get, like a 50% Hawks? We've got a couple injured kids, and then you have the other kind of support heroes, and a couple other, like, kids and, I guess, pros that were kind of, like, fighting and keeping away, like, grunt-level villains. And they were already pushed. This was before. They were already at the current status that they were out of, like, hurt, injured, pushed to their limits before all this just got dumped on us. Um, so we've got Toga impersonating twice in his, like, you know, uh, code red world ending level uh, ability, special move. You've got Dobby over here, who I still don't even know what it is that he copied. Like, what is it that he's, like, what is that benefiting him? Of like him copying, you know, Shoto's technique if you know he's still burning himself and still on a time limit like what, what did he accomplish with like is it even hotter flame is it a way to not burn himself because i'm pretty sure he's still burning himself so like i'm not sure what he accomplished um and then we also have all for one here who is yes rewinding but also getting to like his physical prime as well so i'm not sure like the time frame that he's on You've got Kurogiri here as well, who could just take them wherever he wants, whenever he wants. Um, so it's not looking good. Deku's not coming over here. Man's got end-level boss on his hands right now. So I am very curious how they get out of this. Now, I guess one benefit is I think every heavy hitter here is on a time limit. I don't know how long it's going to take for all for one to like keep rewinding back to like the fact that he's a kid and just gets rewound out of existence. 10 minutes? 10 hours? Something in between? I don't know. Could be an hour, could be 20 minutes, who knows. Dobby can't have much left, much juice left in him. Just from his physical body standpoint. Um, I feel like he's close to running on fumes. And then Toga gets what, like 20 to 30, 40 minutes out of this as well? So the only thing benefiting them is time. Like, can they hold out? But we don't even have specifics on how, how long. I think the only one that we know is probably on a hard, specific line is Toga, with twice his quirk copied. Um, Dobby could be five minutes, could be five hours, and the same thing again with All for One. Who knows how long it'll take him to, like, rewind out of existence. So, I hate that this might have to all be put on Endeavor here. <laughs> Because even if Hawks was top tip shape 100% Hawks, this would be an issue. Um, so I don't know what they do, how they don't just get mowed over here. The script and plot writers are going to have to go insane, <laughs> in my opinion. Now, there could be a couple students here that, you know, we haven't, that I've looked over and haven't seen that might have a crazy quirk that could help, you know, kind of aoe some of the the twice double ups at least um but the thing is like who's dealing with all for one and then who's dealing with uh dobby as well tough 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 matchup here we'll um see what we get into now the good thing is is that they're not very durable um but doesn't I, she says she can't spread her shrooms doesn't the shrooms doesn't the flames help like spread her uh her shroom effectiveness does it not I know that, like, you could burn her shrooms up, but isn't also, like, the flames and the burning can, like, spread some of the sp I don't know. I don't know. 
Mm-mm. Holy shit. Well, guys, what's the play? Yep. Yep. Endeavor, you can't keep this up, bro. We can't. We can't. <laughs> help him! Police, help! He does not want to hear that. That purple phosphor shit does look insane. Do you think he just cracks in the end? Like Dobby just finally breaks down and he's like, I just wanted to be accepted type shit. Yeah, but you're not going to be here physically. Oh, did he? Yeah, that sludge warp was useless. He got out of there before he could snag it. Oh my god, he's going to go on foot. Hawks, what the fuck are we doing, bro? Back up. He's going to get his fucking shit taken or just die. He's trying to get over there, which I thought he would. I thought he would try to get himself over there before he fully rewinds out of existence. I feel like he wants to be there. He wants to physically be there for that. Yeah, he's not mentally complete. Mm-hmm. And I, re I still refuse to believe. I think it's just a plot convenience. There's no way this motherfucker does not take Overhaul's quirk. Are you kidding me? I don't care if it's, like, too hard to understand. Too difficult to use. No, you take Overhaul's quirk and you go rule the world and just reset yourself. Just re rewind and reset yourself. Nah. Nah. I'll never get over that. Someone want to deal with this purple blue flame boy? Oh fuck. <laughs> He's locking in. My man's locking in. The chain thus far. All right. Good luck. Now all of a sudden I have no interest in this Midoriya storyline and I want the I want to go back to that. Oh, shit. He's spamming more twices over here. And now they can't keep their eyes on Shigaraki to keep him nullified. So this is going to be a mess. Good luck. Godspeed. Eyes closed. Cork disabled. Yeah, we got a problem. We got a big problem. There goes that dome in the sky shit. I mean, the, you were fooling yourselves if you thought the final battle was going to be contained to that. Yeah, they that's over. That shit's going down on the ground. That shit's cooked. Cooked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude was over there frying an omelet and shit. Oh, wow, he broke in. Oh, 
Oh god. Yeah, that is what that means. And is he not is he not a little like out of breath from using second gear, third gear on himself? Gear shift? Shouldn't present Mike be able to AoE those tw those copies? With his voice, with his quirk, I feel like that. I feel like that's actually good for him to be here with the Dobby clones. I mean, not the Dobby clones, the Twice. I feel like he should just be able to spam his voice, and they'll just like turn to dust, you know, turn to mud. Is that just loose skin flapping like that? Yo, teacher, uh, president, aren't you, like, smart and tactical and shit, too? Can you not, like, log into your own computer and, like, counteract him or something, or what? Or he's just gonna, like, we're just gonna let him hack everything and fuck it up. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. Yeah. Ah, shit. So what you're saying is somebody's gonna need to take over for a second. How is this a blessing? Yeah, he... I don't know what the fuck he just did. I'm pretty sure that's just like a loose skin skirt. That he has right now. Alright. Lock in and take some deep breaths. Eh? Oh shit! That's a gentle criminal side chick, side kid, excuse me, let me not say chick, <laughs> let me not say side chick, I'm pretty sure she's underage. I was wondering, like, do we not have a hacker on our side, like, uh, president, uh, principal, nobody? I didn't know she was, like, on that level. You could have given me 10 guesses for a million dollars. I would have never given you her name as a candidate for who could counteract him. Oh, she used to hack him back in the day. Fucked him up again. Easy enough. Easy enough. That works. What the fuck did that... Did he just hit a button and those guys came crawling out of that green square? What the fuck was that? Yeah. She's trying. I agree. Wait, this was their final, like, back line defense plan? Was her? Godspeed.
Good luck. Well, they're both having a uh, TV timeout right here. So catch your breath. That skin flap is really doing it, huh? Oh fuck, all the electrics had to pull off. They've got to deal with the, the copies, yeah. Again, that should be good for a couple of you AoEers. Can we not just nuke them? We might hit... Yeah, yeah, laser a little bit of this. What am I looking at? Who the fuck is this? Oh, they actually let him out too. Oh shit. Let's just say, who is that? Is he here for him or is he here to go in there and fuck shit up? Which one? Oh, uh, they found him. Hmm. You got Hound Dog Boy, the the kid there in the green on the left. He's the vibrating one. Man looks dope though. I kind of like the... Hold on now. He looks really good. Holy shit. Huh? Okay, then I'm guessing they're gonna show us how we talked to them and got them to agree to help. I'm sure. Um, man's got the beard going. Must I actually, honestly, don't even remember what his. Uh, I know if I type in his name, I might get spoiled here. I'm trying to remember what he looked like. Okay, so he always he always had his hair out. I, for some reason, I thought he had a top hat. Okay, so that's what he used to look like. He didn't have the full. He did have like the mustache and a little bit of like the chin strap, but he didn't have like the full thing going. Looks kind of dope though. Honestly, forgot what he looks like. Hundred percent. What's he gonna say? Everybody go back in? I don't know why I don't remember his character design looking that great when they kind of had that little mini arc with him. Um, but what they, the way they just showed him there? He looked dope as hell. Yeah, are you on crack thinking that guys that just got broken out are gonna, like, not try to get broken out? Well, that's one way to trust him, I guess. If you got word that he tried to keep them in. Did he stop them all? Wow. Wow. Not a single one got out. Imagine. Seven prisons get broken out, and you're part of the one that couldn't get anybody loose. Did he have multiple of those discs stacked on top of each other, keeping people from, like, moving? What the hell is he about to do here? I mean, he's really charging that shit up. Can he put... I honestly forget the details of his quirk. 
He can make anything kind of that bounce. So is he going to put it on there? Not the... Not the love soundtrack in the back. Was he going to shoot it back into the sky? Yeah. Man's over here pulling a damn... Uh, Sushi Kage doing his light light and boulder jutsu over here trying to get this meteor to come from crashing down I'm curious what like is he just slowing it down or is he trying to really just reflect that shit I need the details of his quirk again and what it's able to do and not do. So now he can just leave that there, right? He doesn't have to sit there and stay with it. It'll just stay forever or is there a time limit? And then I always forget like, cause I see that, but then like, what's the pink aura as well? Man's literally Goku black, by the way. Man finally got to be a hero. <laughs> and of course, of course, Midoriya's ass is crying too. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're fucked. Unless Aizawa's got his eyes open. Bitch. Oh, wow. It's the girl that miraculously took a hand grenade to the skull. Happens to be here. Alive. Holy shit. How the hell did that just come about? What are the words? Damn. Now, why is it all taped up and shit? Again, I forget the details of her court. Hold on, is there an after credit? There's a little bit of time after this. Is there an after credit? No, no, no. We don't do previews. We don't do previews. Um, I want to just Google his quirk and get a little bit more of a breakdown. But I'm afraid that if I do... I might learn his fate here, and if he just happens to get disintegrated. But honestly, that was... I mean, I guess Midori is really sometimes the only one that kind of does get the whole, like, Super Saiyan aura drip around him. Um, but the whole color scheme and combo look dope as hell. And I forget, like, the pink aura and, like, what the specifics are that he does and doesn't do. But they had him looking great. <laughs> it's actually wild. Because, like, I see the manifestation of, like, the trampoline part of it. What's the pink aura doing for him? Man was going off. It's actually pretty great. And I don't remember... I'm trying to remember why her... I don't think it was originally. Um, why was her... Uh, her little sniper rifle all... Um, all duct taped and bandaged up. Again, should she be alive? Probably not. Um, but it's my hero, what do you expect? Uh, I didn't mind that. Uh, I know I said I would rather stay over there and see how in Endeavor deals with all that and everybody that's going on over there. Because I didn't know, like, what are you going to show me over here? It's like, okay, neither of them can move. Like, we're going to really drag this out. We see that everyone's showing up. It's falling. The gentle... Because I didn't think they were going to... Even when they showed her... I didn't think that they were going to show him. Um, that was pretty cool. Now it's making me think, who else have we locked up that could have an impact? 
I know I think I mentioned stain a couple episodes ago, but it was only specific to the the hetero types that we I feel like if he had showed up there, it would have made us that would have like resonated a little bit with that whole group. But now that that's kind of been resolved and they've kind of calmed down from being so aggressive, I don't see a part where stain would have to play. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any but muscular a past villain. We kind of already we dealt with that already. Um, I don't know if Giganto Machia still has a part to play in this story. I would like him too, but it's also like, okay, how much of this can we actually deal with? Um, Overhaul would be the only one, and he doesn't have access to his hands at the moment. Um, so I don't think, aside from Gentle here, that we should be seeing any more past... Anybody that we haven't already seen on screen, I'm trying to think who could make a surprise, like, oh my god. I think that has to be it. Because even in, you know, the, the original season one, it was Shigaraki who we're dealing with now. Then we had the tournament, the school tournament. You know, we've already seen those kids get interacted back in. We went to Muscular, we had All for One versus All Might Fight. We did the stain with Ingenium and everything at the time. And then every other villain has kind of just been like a league. And then we did the overhaul, which we already saw Mirio come back. We've seen overhaul, but he doesn't have his hands. And then everything else has just been kind of league of villains since then. Um, so I don't think we should get introduced to anybody that we haven't seen. Like, again, unless overhaul just shows up and goes farking crazy, which I would love. Still to this day, overhaul is my favorite villain of the story so far. And he's, I don't want to say my top one because I have to really sit here and list every single quirk off. But he's got to be in top three, top five quirks to me in the entire show. Um, but that's a different discussion for another day. Um, that was dope. If someone can give me the breakdown on his quirk and what it's able to do again. I thought for a second, like, can he put it on other, can he put the trampoline on other things? But then I remember his fight with Deku, he was making like steel beams turn into like trampolines. So we made a trampoline pallet and it's just going to hold, like, how how is it actually holding it, though? Because well, I'm, I'm thinking, like, of, like, what a trampoline does. Um, but then we saw him, what did he turn, I'm, I need, actually need to go back and look at that still shot. He had turned, thing, I keep thinking he's, like, turning, like, he's Luffy turning things into rubber. But then he had all these, so yeah, here it is, he's got... Did he turn this into ru this like steel beam stuff here while it was rubber and like wrap them up in it and then just put trampolines on top? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he does, the specifics of it. And again, I don't want to go um look it up in case he's got a part to play here or does something wild and it gets spoiled. So break that down for me on like what he does, what he's able to do. Um and I'm pretty sure that was it and we'll go from there. And again, the Dobby stuff. I don't know what the purple phosphorus is actually granting him. Um, and I'm curious if he sticks this out to the very end, Dobby, or do we see him crack mentally at all? Um, but we'll see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...